Hello and welcome to the show. I am here today on Forza Horizon 4 with the greatest car of all time. Well, between this and the Shelby Daytona for me. Anyway, the TVR Speed 12, my favourite of the hypercars and one of my all-time favourite vehicles, is back in a Forza game. It is the first time it's appeared since Motorsport 4 and I have got it in lovely purple. This is the only colour you can really have a TVR. Well, a TVR in general, but the Speed Toy has got to be in a beautiful, bonkers purple colour. I'm very excited. I am very excited to have this car back in the game once more. And there's something even, I say something even more interesting, something very interesting with this vehicle. So, naturally, I've got, this is a barn find. It is about halfway-ish through the barn finds. It's a decent time into the game that uh, that you will get this one. As I'm looking through the upgrades, as you can imagine, standard engine, pretty damn mighty. The one in the game is 800 horsepower. The, well, the real car, officially, when it was initially made, uh, they don't know how much power it had. It broke a 1,000 horsepower dyno, so it was a lot. Uh, the the one road-going version, I think, was restricted to 800 horsepower. If you want to modify the standard engine up, max it out, you will get something in the region of just over a 1,000 horsepower, if I remember correctly. 1,047, maybe a little bit more, actually. Okay, 1,100 horsepower. That is a lot of power. That is a huge amount of power from anything, let alone a mad TVR. The interesting thing, and the thing I expected that engine to be powerful, the thing that I didn't expect, you can swap the engine. Now you might be wondering, what on earth would you put in this car that was madder than the original engine? There's a racing V12. Now, <laughs> I don't know what this engine comes from, I'm going to be honest, it's very, very light. It doesn't have much torque. Could it be a Formula 1 engine? Just looking at the torque figure, I was pondering whether it was like a GT uh, race car engine because, I mean, they were normally restricted down to around the six, seven hundred horsepower, I think, like the GT1 or whatever GT was at the time version of this car. Uh, but looking at the torque figure, I wonder if it might be a Formula I don't know. It's just, in, either way, it's an engine we've never had before. It is an engine that we can put some turbos on. <laughs> I'd, yeah, I have no idea what car this comes from. But it can get twin turbos on it, and I'm hoping we can get more than 1,100 uh, horsepower. I do like, there are quite a lot of mad engine swap options for, I say mad engines, there are some different engine swaps that we just don't see before. And I don't know whether we might get technically more power, it might not actually be a better engine, so to speak. Uh, it is very light, but it's also not got anywhere near the same sort of torque figures that we get from the actual car. So it's slightly more powerful, much lighter but not as much torque as the standard car. I'm going to give it a drive because I've never seen it before. You know what? That's probably not a bad idea. Uh, I'm just kind of surprised. Oh, we're going to have a rally. Yes, I want a rear-wheel drive racing... Well, I mean, I'm sure I'll do that at some point. But uh, for this, we will keep it on road. We can make it even lighter if we want. 1,700 pounds. That power-to-weight ratio is insane. Uh, what I am going to do is go, help, I want some race tyres please. This is on like street tyres as well because it's a sport and a race option. I want the race. I want some race tyres. I want. I definitely want some race tyres on my TVR. Can I get some nice big tyres as well? They're, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty big. They're pretty big. Can we get some big front tyres? Yes, we can. Perfect. Uh, oh, we can actually also do this, which is quite cool. Uh, <laughs> track width if you want to uh, have your wheels fit a little bit. A little bit better. It's not on every car, this, but it is on quite a lot of them. It is on quite a lot of them. Uh, we could put some aero on it, but that would ruin... That would ruin... No. No, we can't have aero on this. As sensible and as much as it would probably be needed... No. No, it's, it's not going to have aero on it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the engine isn't cheap. I will say that much. The, the engine isn't cheap. It's 100,000 credits and... Yeah, that's a fair, a fair amount of expense. A lot of the big engines now are pretty damn expensive. The Unimogs, uh, 2,500 racing truck engine, 2,500 horsepower, I should say, sorry. Uh, racing truck engine, that is, I think that's 200,000. So, yeah, th these engine swaps are not cheap. That made an interesting sound. Okay, it's not very TVR-esque anymore. But, when you have this option as an engine... think it like this is where my lack of I didn't actually see what displacement it was 
Oh, I know where it might come from. I've just had a thought. Is it the Ferrari F50 GT's engine? Just thinking of how it's revving and how it sounds. That might be where it comes from. Possibly. I mean, <laughs> the TVR is insanely quick to begin with. There is no doubt about that. I just like the revs. The revs on this thing are immense. Uh, so, that was the house I had bought uh, up by Edinburgh, I think, is the house I was in. I was in there. Uh, the airfield. So the airfield here is a little different to the airfields that uh, we have seen in previous uh, Horizon games. This one here is more kind of a Gymkhana area, if you like. There is still a little bit of a straight. There's these air this bit over here, which I really like, uh, kind of for your drifting shenanigans, if you want. If you're not in a 1,200 horsepower TVR. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this will drift. I just haven't got any control over it. Unfortunately, as with a lot of the game, these bits around here are destructible. Uh, so it's kind of difficult to... Let's say practice. Uh, basically, you're going to end up wrecking the area quite a lot uh, very quickly. So, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> you'll just end up knocking the barriers around. Shall we go and see how fast? I guess, I presume this at least is a drag strip, judging by the lights over there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a different kind of airfield. It's a different kind of airfield. Uh, there is a proper drag strip around by the Horizon Festival. This thing is quick. <laughs> it's just, yep, we're going now. We're going to go 208 miles an hour through the speed trap. We don't really stop. I hope that's enough for three stars. Uh, no, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Perfect. Uh, there's a road up here I haven't driven. Probably not a good idea. I've got a very, very, very silly TBR. Gravel's probably not a good idea. I mean, I could get a better run than that through the speed trap if I wanted to, if we actually set up for a proper flying start. Christ. <laughs> I hope, I hope a lot of cars have this engine as an option. It's an exciting engine to have. I mean, it'll be fun being able to put the TVR engine in everything as well, to be fair. But uh, it's good to see new and different engines being able to, yeah, make their way into cars. Uh, what have we got? I, <laughs> I spotted there's a cross-country event. I somehow, again, sneaky suspicion, cross-country event. Mad TBR. Oh, I'll get that while I'm here. Fast travel board. Woo! We pinged our way off of the uh, pallets, basically. Oh! Oh, okay. That's like the, I guess that's like the final of whatever bit that might be. Uh, <laughs> apparently, I am nowhere near as close to stuff as I thought I was. Shall we go up here? Oh, let's do some street racing. Race around Edinburgh. Yes, that seems like suitably stupid. Race around windy city streets. Edinburgh is a pretty narrow city, or certainly parts of it are a pretty pretty narrow city. Uh, from my my experience of having been playing around with this game for a little bit, uh, while the roads are still relatively wide, there are a couple of places where they are a little bit narrower, well, well kind of single character road. Even here, you know, the roads are still fairly, fairly wide, that much is true. The routes, the actual races, all considerably more challenging. I very nearly murdered a Fiesta. Well, murdered myself along with a Fiesta. Um, yeah, the roads do seem so far to be a bit more technical, a bit more demanding in terms of the car. It'll be interesting when we come to, you know, be doing versus community, building cars for challenges and, and so on. I think handling is going to be more important. I'm going to be doing a video on, uh, <laughs> on quite how, how that's all going to work out with the PI system and so on. But, uh, yeah, the, the, there's a lot of technical races, a lot of more handling-based circuits. I mean, there was kind of one track I went to on Horizon 3 that would be a little bit more handling-based. Uh, on here, I've already, and I've only played some of the circuits, already found quite a few that are highly demanding. So, I mean, that's, that's a good thing. There are still some fast circuits. Uh, one track I drove uh, was, yeah, pretty terrifying in terms of being fast, but with some really narrow, nasty corners. So... It's a good mix of tracks. And I'm going to race around a city with a mad, mad hypercar. Uh, <laughs> what more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? I don't know what I'm going to be up against here. Judging by that wing, that looks like a Zonda. So what have we got to race against? Zonda, Lamborghini, Zonda, 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 Senna. But <laughs> apparently we want to race against the Zonda. I mean, the Zonda R is a popular car. I think part of the uh, other reason why you will see a lot of the Zonda is for the, I think it's the Ultimate Edition or bonuses. Basically, the Zonda Horizon Edition is given to 
a lot of people. So when we're in, I think this is extreme track toys category, you're going to see a lot of the Zonda R around the place. Also, it is uh, a little bit damp under wheels. I don't have the downforce of a Zonda R. I am lighter than a Zonda R. Woo! I'm lighter than a Zonda R and have more power and I'm going sideways through Edinburgh city centre. It's fine. It's a normal day in Scotland. This is this is what happens in Scotland regularly. Uh, I mean, the rain? Probably. Uh, the sideways TVR? Well, I mean, there were TVRs in Edinburgh. They probably would be sideways. But, uh, <laughs> Christ, this thing just doesn't stop spinning its wheels. Now, bear in mind, I talked about this a little bit with the taxi video. Uh, cars on this game are grippy, especially when you put them on race tyres. Uh, cars are very, very grippy. Uh, in, to, to the point where low PI cars on race tyres feel very much like go-karts. can be quite fun. You know, it is, it is good fun, but they are twitchy and they change direction like mad. This... This is not grippy. The 1,000 horsepower taxi, that had more grip. That had, that had more grip. Admittedly, it had less power and a bit, quite a bit more weight. This is insane. This is absolute insanity. <laughs> it's what you expect from a TVR Speed... I've missed the TVR Speed 12. Who needs Zondas and McLaren Senna's and whatnot when you can have one of these death machine... I mean, amazing cars. Uh... <laughs> I'm not winning this race, by the way. Uh, <laughs> this is more of a... This is a completely and utterly inappropriate track for this car. The weather conditions haven't helped. I've smacked a wall. Ugh! Bins! No! TVR! TVR! Stop it! Stop it! No! The Senna's beating us! Come back. We can't be beaten by the Senna. Oh, the, we are actually just racing to the finish now. I mean, we'll outdrag the Senna. Goodbye! There's a taxi... Oh, Only just outdrag the Senna. I thought we had further to go, but... I'm, it, distances and... It, it's all... Um, difficult to judge with this car when you're doing a million miles an hour and sideways all the time. <laughs> um... I don't know whether with the standard engine... The standard engine, to be fair, might be smoother and easier to work with than this. Than the, the, this. I, I'm fairly sure that's got to be the F50 engine. Like, that's the only one I can think would make sense. Pretty sure the F50 was a V12. It's a race car. It revs that sort of high. And a Formula 1 engine would be fun, but I don't think that quite is. Hey, we've got another car. I'm doing well at winning cars on filmed wheel spins. I should film all of them. <laughs> Never know. Oh, we got to another... God, there is... <laughs> Again, I talked about this a little bit last time. There is so much to do, and the map gets... The map's a bit of a mess, because there is so much different stuff to go and to go and do around here. Uh, shall we go for a... Maybe go for a, a lap? That looks like a tiny, tiny little circuit. Are you... A, a, that's a tiny little... I mean, look at that. That's, that is a diddy little track that we're going to go race around. Let's, shall we go take the insane hypercar around? You know what? Let's go for it. Uh, <laughs> let's go for it. Oh, there's a no entry sign. There's nothing around. It's fine. Don't, don't do that on the actual roads. Don't. I mean, we're in a uh, we're in a city TVR that's doing 150 through. Uh, the city streets easy. Where are you going, golf? I'm going to go this way. Can we get to 200 before we get to where we are supposed to be going? I'm going to hazard a guess at yes. Yes, I think we can. Please don't let there be a tram. Please don't let there be a tram. Hey, we're 200 miles an hour in the city. We're still going. Oh, uh, not really stopped. Uh, <laughs> Christ, this thing accelerates. I mean, I knew it was going to, let's be honest. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't put me against, against the Sesto Elemento. Uh, also, interestingly, the Formula Drift cars end up as the extreme track toys, which I guess they technically are, but not... Never mind. Uh, <laughs> technically, technically, they are extreme track toys, just in a very different way. If you are running a slower... If you're not running a maxed out TVR, uh, they will, the AI will turn up and try and race them around the place. It's quite interesting. I guess actually that's another good point. Not too many cars will get to, well, up to this sort of PI. I guess the Zonda makes the most sense. Oh, someone's got a Radical. That's going to be good. Somebody bought the Drift Viper. I think they have. Uh, <laughs> entertainingly, I don't think it's Slap Trade either. Uh, that would have been better, or I guess it could be Aero. Aero, please be Aero. No, it's, it's a, a random person. There are so many gold on here. The gold Zondas, they are the, um, uh, what's the cool cars? The Forza Edition cars. Uh, you're probably not going to see too many normal uh, Zonda Rs, because everyone's going to have one of these. 
anyway. Should we go first person view? Visibility in TBR, not great. Why when I was messing around, I was uh, going for some third person. And so you can enjoy the uh, scenery of Great Britain. Uh, ooh, I'm very nearly murdered as on the... Uh, we're actually not too bad on this much, much more technical... Much, much more technical circuit we've got going on here. Uh, TBR, if I can tame it a little bit. Less of the lunatic wheel spin, please, car. We actually got a legitimate overtake on a Zonda without crashing everything off the road. Here we go. Speed brakes. Brakes, 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 brakes. Oh, no. Well, we got, a, we got a legitimate crash into the wall there. That was a big, bit too bigger a dive bomb. God. See what I mean? This, this is not uncommon a circuit either I've come across to be a proper windy windy technical bugger of a circuit. Admittedly, inside the city, it's, street circuits are always going to be tough to overtake on, and sure, some of the city roads are a bit wider than you might expect. It's a damn good workout for the car's handling, I will say that much. Oh, now that was not a legitimate overtake on the Zonda. Please get out of the way. I never thought I'd be saying this. I'm having a near-death experience again. Uh, can we cut to the inside? Oh, this is where we got the pass done last lap around. I would at times like the races to be a little bit longer. Uh, three laps is not much to make your way through a field, especially, you know, if you're in a if you're in a good race. Oh, you've got you know evenly matched cars. I don't know where the breaking point is for turn one. I'm just pinging the TBR off of some walls. Uh, yeah, <laughs> three laps is is not necessarily enough, especially not on some of these shorter shorter races. Uh, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get much higher. However, with the way the game is is set up, you don't have to win every race uh, to make progression, to keep unlocking stuff, to complete stuff. So it's okay. Uh, well, you can actually just sit and have fun racing against the AI. So if you're having a good race, if it's over seventh place, it doesn't really matter. You'll still earn plenty of XP. You'll still make uh, progression, etc. If you want to win everything, go for it, sure. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Unfortunately, my pinging off of the wall at turn one was dopey. Uh, there we go. That's actually... I mean, I was, it's not easy to drive. I was expecting a more savage beast than that around a little... Especially you're up against fucking Zondas. Uh, expected a little bit of a meaner car. Kind of didn't didn't go yeah, didn't go too badly for the, for the TBR. It's definitely the fastest car there if I could just stop pinning it in the wall. We're going to do one more race. We'll do one more race with the Ferrari engine. It's a little bit sacrilege, I know, Ferrari engine in a TBR, but it's it was a new engine. We had to have a look at a new engine, okay? Uh, so that was a very mean street circuit. What have we got up this way in terms of maybe less mean street circuits? Uh, oh, no, that's the... Oh, forward, forward, forward. That's the beauty spot. Now let's go for Edinburgh Station, I think it said. I would like a win, you know. With <laughs> I'm showing off this awesome car. I'd like to be able to, you know, actually win. I, I am kind of good at driving, honest. There's at least two Zondas. Hey, there is a Drift Viper. What, what have we got here? Okay, the Viper is S1 class. Of course it is. Radical. Yeah, so Zonda, Viper. Zonda, Radical. The many Zondas, and then I'm at the back. Uh, sure. Here we go. Does look a little bit damp. Let's just not go. I guess it is actually the spring season that I'm in at the moment, so I think it's kind of permanently a little bit damp uh, around around here. Oh, that's a really nasty chicane for turn one. I don't think this is any better, although at least it is wider. Sea of gold, sea of gold. Excuse me, I'm going through my sea of purple. Well, I took out some, ugh, took out some railings. And for those. I've seen various uh, early access footage or various footage and so on around uh, crashing through uh, obstacles. Uh, some people complain or not not so keen on the fact that you can, pre you can pretty much crash through everything. Even the like solid Armco barriers on the motor. Well, say solid. What were once solid Armco barriers are no more. Uh, some people say that you can crash through without any loss of momentum. You can with the big trucks. They'll take out anything. Uh, in a car like this, it really, really screws you over. So... Yeah, a lot of the scenery is destructible, but in a uh, lightweight sports car, the uh, amount of momentum that is lost, you really don't want to get stuck crashing through stuff. You just, you don't. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, sort of thing, while it is very powerful and while it might be going very fast, you'll get through some of it okay. No speeds like around here, for example. That should be a real problem. I can't afford to clonk into those metal posts. Okay, that, that, that does kind of ruin my point. Like the, the barrier, the railing there, for example, I do not want to hit those. They do slow you. It can cost you quite a lot of time. Uh, so 
Yeah, you are going to have to be a little careful. This is another very, very mean street circuit for a hypercar racing. But there we go. Oop. Slow, 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 slow. This time we got we got a better we got a better getaway initially. And when you're in very short races like this, if you can get to the front, if you can get out of trouble early on. Oh no! I'm gonna go for a grab the handbrake to try and oh, bloody hell! Everything's gonna pile. <laughs> that was my bad. We go so fast. Oh, we're gonna go for a cutback on the Zonda. The Radicals actually probably gonna be very, very good around here. Uh, whoops! That's my bad. I got carried away with the speed and the. Well, not the braking. I, if we can get carried away with the braking, well, then we'll be slow in a different way. Either way, it's kind of, you know, slow. Also, Edinburgh Council, very impressively quick at putting back all the posts together. we got these super-efficient councils of Forza, uh, uh, well, Horizon Festivals. They're, they're, they managed to get stuff rebuilt within our lap. That is some seriously dedicated, it's more dedicated than, well, much more dedicated than the council around where I live that haven't resurfaced a road in about three months. Uh, <laughs> And there we go. Uh, we are... Oh, we're actually running away. Yeah, as expected, that Radical is pretty good. How fast are we going down here? Jeez, no wonder it's difficult getting the braking right down there. We're doing 170 down the narrow city streets. And some wheel spin. And across the line. There we go. I got a win. I wanted to win with a TBR. And it's Ferrari engine, I presume. I could be wrong on that. I don't know my engines very well. But, uh... <laughs> There we go. We didn't get fastest lap. A couple of the Zondas win the 51s. I probably could... Oh, there's some 50s further back. Jeez. Uh... <laughs> Probably with a good lap, I might be able to go a little bit, a little bit faster. Uh, decent money, actually, from some of these, from from some of these events going on. Uh, yeah, money's not too bad on this. Uh, I'll, again, I'll be looking at it in considerably more detail. But uh, yeah, I'm not doing too bad in terms of uh, getting getting. I've spent silly money on silly cars as well. Again, we're seeing. Oh, you, and there's a mini. And yes, mini there's a barn find. Then. I got the classic mini. Uh, <laughs> So there we go. The TBR is as brilliantly bonkers as ever. It even has a mad engine. The F50, I'm fairly sure, F50 GT. Either way, a V12 racing engine is a swappable option now in this game. I am thoroughly enjoying some of the interesting the interesting cars, the mad engine swaps that, uh, that can be done. And I'm very, very, very happy to have my TBR back in the game. We'll knock over a post box for good measure. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.